The Rocket IPC Insertion Pack is ideal for use in most clinical settings and includes all the items routinely required for insertion of an indwelling pleural catheter. A dedicated pack is available if placing the catheter following thoracoscopy. Contents of the full kit include two part fenestrated drape to allow accommodation of both incision sites, individually wrapped 16 French gauge silicone catheter with tunneler attached, a 12 milliliter syringe with 18 gauge echogenic needle pre attached, safety scalpel. J-tip guide wire with feeder guide and markings at 10, 20 and 30 centimetres. Tearaway sheath dilator 11 centimetres long. Longer version available if required. Metal forceps for tunnelling if required. Additional syringe. Green and orange safety needles for administration of local anaesthetic. Needle vise safety device for use with the echogenic needle. Forceps for suturing. Sponge swabs for preparing patient's skin. An individually packed valve cap. An individually packed drainage line, including stepped connector for connection to chest drain bottles if required. Gallipot. Pair of scissors. Gauze swabs, a split foam dressing pad, and a clear film dressing. All the contents are double wrapped, suitable for theatre use. Place the patient in a lateral position or with the chest slightly elevated if respiration is compromised. Supplemented sedation is generally recommended. Open your IPC insertion pack and arrange the contents as required. Clean and prepare patient's skin. Then drape the operative field. Generously infiltrate local anaesthetic to the skin and subcutaneous tract of both insertion sites. Make a 1.5 cm long incision at the catheter insertion site and then repeat laterally at approximately 5 cm where the catheter will exit the skin. At the primary insertion site, take the 12 milliliter syringe with pre-attached 18 gauge echogenic needle and insert over the superior border of the rib into the intercostal space. Freely aspirate pleural fluid. Remove the syringe, leaving the needle in place. Place a thumb over the needle opening to prevent leakage of pleural fluid. Feed the guide wire through the needle, taking care not to over-insert. Carefully remove the needle, leaving the guide wire in place. The metal forceps may be used to blunt dissect the tract from low to upper incision. Feed the IPC catheter through the tract using the pre-attached tunneler. Draw the catheter through until the Dacron cuff is midpoint in the subcutaneous tract. Take the 16 French gauge tearaway sheath dilator and pass it over the guide wire into the pleural space to a depth of no more than 7 cm. Once in position, remove the guide wire and dilator, ensuring the sheath remains in position. Detach the tunneler from the distal end of the catheter. As you remove the dilator, occlude the sheath with your thumb to prevent fluid leakage. Do not Pinch the sheath. This may cause it to kink and impede insertion of the silicone catheter. Feed the fenestrated end of the catheter into the sheath and advance it into the pleural space. Ensure all the fenestrations are well within the pleural space. Carefully peel away and remove the sheath, ensuring the catheter remains in position. Now gently withdraw the catheter so that the cuff lies no more than one centimetre above the lower incision. Adjust the catheter within the subcutaneous tunnel so that it lies evenly and is free from kinks. Taking care not to damage or occlude the catheter, close both incisions and dress the whole area.